Pacific Island Forum is on now, the leaders' forum. Scott Morrison, our Prime Minister, is over there, Keith Pitt. Uh, you know, obviously a range of issues, trade-related issues, aid-related issues, uh, concerns about China's influence in our region, loans for infrastructure, the whole gamut. Yesterday, half a billion dollars was gifted by Australia uh, to the forum, to forum members, on the basis of climate change. Now, you couldn't turn on a talkback channel in Australia with people up in arms about this. They're happy to have aid, provide there's demonstrable outcomes for the aid. They're not happy about climate change money. Scott Morrison said he wouldn't be funding the global climate change zeitgeist, but we're doing it locally. Um, there's an interesting set of grabs I want to play here. The minister who's over there, Alex Hawke, and then a response from Penny Wong. Let's have a listen. We want to say to uh, Fiji, we want to say to all of the member states here, Australia is listening on climate. Uh, we will be doing more. We'll be spending more through our package. The reality is that the Pacific Island nations, Pacific leaders, have made it clear they don't trust the Morrison government when it comes to climate change. Look, as I highlighted in official scientific statistics last night, more of the islands in our region are rising, not sinking. Keith, Pitt, what do you make of this all? And this demand that we have to get out of coal. Uh, well, look, I think we'll deal with the $500 million first. Uh, I mean, my, my understanding is this is out of the existing aid budget. Uh, there's no increase in terms of the overall spend. Uh, and these projects are resilience projects. So that, that's improvements to roads and bridges, for example, that might be affected by flooding or cyclones. Uh, and, you know, this is the sort of work, to be honest, that Australia has done over a long period of time in the Pacific. Uh, we're very strong partners with the Pacific Islands. It is a critical part of our local region. Uh, you know, we, we substantially support Papua New Guinea, for example, every single year. But uh, it, coal is our industry. And if we look at what happened in the last election, uh, we know the Labor Party took a very radical agenda to the Australian people. Uh, it was rejected. I think that argument's been run and won. Uh, the Australian people have accepted, accepted the balanced proposition we've put forward. Uh, and we are a sovereign nation, as each of the Pacific Island nations are. We, we make our own decisions based on our own economy. Uh, I've always supported the resources sector very strongly. I'll continue to do that. Uh, it's 200,000 jobs uh, and over $200 billion in exports. Uh, and I think we are doing our part in a balanced way. Michael Davey, there's a lot of concern that, you know, ordinary people have. I have to say, even in the government being able to read the documents, I was often worried about transparency in some of our aid funding. I think people are right to be concerned about what this $500 million will be spent on. I hear Keith Pitt, resilience, cyclones, bridge building. There's plenty of that that needs to be done up your way near Bundaberg. But, Michael Danby, it's also a concern in the Middle East, and we know in the past organisations, UN organisations in and around the Palestinian issues, uh, there's been some concerns about corruption there too, hasn't there? Do we, do we take a close enough look at not just where we put our money, but what actually is done with the money we give? Yeah, you're right, uh, Peter. There's a bit of a Jeffrey Epstein scandal going on in the uh, refugee agency that's uh, dedicated strangely, to only looking after Palestinians. All the rest of the 11 million refugees of the world are looked after by the UNHCR, and I, I would think the uh, solution that the Department of Foreign Affairs should advance is that you know, all refugees should be treated equally and brought under the uh, reputable control of the UNHCR. But uh, I just want to take up Keith's point. Uh, the South Pacific is very important to us. Um, I, I hope his reassurance is right that this is being spent on... Uh, uh, infrastructure and roads and this kind of thing. That would be very good if it does because we can't let our um, Beijing friends uh, in there or to set debt traps for Papua New Guinea where they uh, uh, then um, uh, get a port in Papua New Guinea because uh, they refinance the Papua New Guinea debt. So very serious game of international politics is at stake here. I agree with both of you that uh, the issue of coal was um, set at the last election, where are all the demonstrators now? Uh, they, they're not outside Labor Party offices. I, mean, I just find it farcical that sort of... Uh, um, they, uh, Bob Brown and his flying column to Queensland helped uh, lose the election for, uh, for Labor. Oh, they were only one of the factors, but, mm. um, you know, they're... Uh, Adani's won, uh, Cole's won, and I hate to say it to Keith and uh, Peter, but the CFMEU has won too, because they were pretty angry with the Queensland Government for not going ahead with the project. 
Yeah, well, look, I couldn't agree with you more. I think common sense is one. The quiet Australians won. People who want lights on have won.